Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and to my home. I'm Eileen. Today we're going to look at Ellen Villa Charlotte in the color Ginger Rooted 263119. Before we get started, please like and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. I'm uploading two and three times a week now, so please hit that notification button and you will know every time I upload. Also, don't forget, please join me on Instagram where I have Coffee with the Crazy Wig Lady. Uh, I have all my wig giveaways, my makeup giveaways, everything happens over on Instagram, so please follow me there at Crazy Wig lady. Okay, let's get started and look at Ellen Villa Charlotte. Okay, Ellen Villa Charlotte. First of all, this wig was provided to me for review from wigstudio1.com, so be sure to go over there and check out wigstudio1.com and follow us on our private Facebook group, Wig Studio One Wig and Topper Support Group. You won't want to miss that. We have live wig sales once a month over there. Lots of fun things happening at uh, in the private Facebook group, Wig Studio One Wig and Topper Support Group. All right, this short, fun summer style I think is adorable. It makes me ready for summer. <laughs> and I just pulled mine back with a little uh, comb here. You know, if you've watched my videos in the past in my short styles, you know I love styling short wigs. I think they're so fun. You know, just because it's short, I've said it a million times, does not mean that you can't style this in lots of different ways. So that's the first thing I did, is I just put that little comb in it. Super easy to do. This is going to look good with so many things, I think. It's going to be easy to style. Put a headband on with it. Makes it super fun, super casual there. I like that. Or, if I wanted to dress this up a little more uh, with a headband, I would just use a sparkly headband. And you could wear that more in a dressy way if you'd like. Like I said, lots and lots of things you can do. A simple barrette. Also, now this wig does not have a lace front. This is a basic cap. I like that about this style because it keeps the price point down, as you know, with a basic cap design. You don't uh, have to be paying for any mono features or anything like that. So you can just basically keep your price point down. I like that with just a plain barrette. Really nice. Just Like I said, just lots and lots of ways to wear these short, fun styles. I have a little clip. I could pull this just like that, put a clip in it, leave a little hanging down to cover that front. Like I said, there's no lace front, but there just are lots of ways to style this. This wig has a short two inch nape. Fits very snug to the neck. I like that about this. And also, it has these front pieces that are a tad longer, as you see, on the sides. And you can wear those all going forward, or you can tuck this behind your ears, which I tend to do and feel like that's how I wear the majority of these. But again, it makes it versatile. You have these little longer front pieces. You can wear it all going forward or all going back, just however you prefer. Now, you know I always get my hands in my wigs and I pull them away from the cap. I think I want mine messy. I don't want them too fixed. And when you know you're going to keep a style, that's a good place to start and just really mess it up and pull it away from the cap. Now, this has permatease, of course, right here because it's a basic cap and you would expect that. But it is not an overwhelming amount, as you can see, because I believe you could easily wear this sleeker if you would like. I'm just going to use a wide tooth comb and sleek it down, get it more of a boy look if you like. You could pull it all over to one side like that. Have it a little more sleek. Or, in my case, <laughs> I want to mess it up as much as possible. I just do. That's just how I like it. And I like to create some texture, and that's easily done. I've been really enjoying this sea salt spray. Wow, I like it. I use it so much, and this wig is perfect for this. As you see, I'm just working it through. I want to give it some texture. I want to separate the fibers. Again, not, not making it too fixed, just letting it be messy. And easily, easily created with that sea salt spray. 
that is a nice product if you haven't tried that already. Really nice. I like that. Okay, let's have another look at the back. And again, please stay to the end of the video. I will have uh, more photos and outdoor lighting, a little video in the outdoor lighting so you can have a look at this color. But let's talk about Ginger Rooted. So it consists of a lot of different shades. As you can see, it has some auburn in this. It has medium and light honey. It's on a darker root, as you can tell. But the rooting, I believe, with this auburn is not overdone. It's a darker root, but it's not stark, as you can see. It blends really well into this color ginger rooted but that light and medium honey running all through it really really a beautiful color I like that okay let's look at the inside of the cap okay let look at the inside of the cap at Ellen Villa Charlotte as you like I said no lace front there is some permatees here and there is a small mono crown so it looks like that hair is growing right out of your head permatees there as we talked about Closed ear tabs with stays, Velcro adjusters, non-extended nape, open wefted, and there is some stretch in here, which is nice. I have a 21 and a quarter inch head circumference. This fit me perfectly, but I believe you could, a little larger size could get away with this one. And here is another look at Ginger Rooted. Okay, that was a look at the cap of Ellen Villa Charlotte. This is my Ellen Villa Open. I wanted to do a little comparison of these two wigs for you. Now, Open is in my top five list of favorite wigs. I can't imagine I will ever not have this wig in my rotation. I have worn it and worn it and repurchased it numerous, numerous times. It just works. This is another out-of-the-box style. And when I put on Charlotte, I thought that reminds me of Open. And so I wanted you to see those. If you have open, you could kind of get an idea how they are alike. Short nape. Now at the end of the video, I will have uh, some outdoor color, uh, color comparison of this. It's also, this is sand multi-rooted. Beautiful, beautiful Ellen Villa color. Let's look at it up close. So it also has the dark brown rooting, but it's a lot more ash. It has medium ash blonde. It's blended all over with these different shades of blonde, that medium brown and medium ash. Beautiful, beautiful Ellen Villa color, one of my very favorites. But this uh, Charlotte is very similar to Open both great summer throw on and go styles opens bang is a little bit longer as you can see again my face is nine inches from hairline to chin if that helps you any but both both beautiful styles okay guys i hope you enjoyed that let me show you the coverage on charlotte beautiful do not see my bio hair at all right here just a little tiny bit not even enough that i would worry about covering that because this is so um it's just not that much at all and it has a basic cap like i said you're not going to be wearing this off of your face so i don't think that would be a concern in any way certainly not for me i would not do anything with that leave that just like it is so i hope you enjoyed this and the comparison to ellen villa open again stay to the end i'll have a lot more photos for you thank you so much for joining me again please like and subscribe to this channel and don't forget follow me on instagram have a great day and i'll see you next time